Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-January 2020 general reading. Again, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, thank you always, Sagittarius, for your support, your likes, your shares, um, your subscribes, your sweet comments donations, all the beautiful things. I am so grateful for you. Um, after this general reading, I go right into your love reading. If you'd like to join us there, it's the first link in the description box below. And what we do in the love readings, in case you're new, hello and welcome, um, is in the love readings, we check in and tap um, tap into the energies of the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance. Could be your partner, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, new love, whatever that means to you. We check in on that person and see how are they truly feeling towards you, Sagittarius? What are their long-term intentions for you at this time? What are y'all going through and experiencing together? What is y'all's mutual energy? And of course, we look at the potential outcome. Where is that relationship going in the future? So again, if you wanna join us for the love reading, open the description box. It's the first link right there. My Instagram is also in the description box. If you would like to come follow and come say hello, I would love to see you. Um, all right, let's get into it. Again, this is your general reading. Today, I'm using the Modern Spellcasters deck. It looks like that. Okay, and here in the general, I go with the flow and anything goes. I could be talking about your personal life, your family life, your love life, your career, your passion projects. Um, so they are general, so they're open for interpretation. Okay. All right, let's take some deep breaths and get into it. Uh, three more shuffles. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. These messages are for mid-January 2020. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Sagittarius at this time? All right. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy, Air, card of Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries specifically. Um, but right now, this is a, a theme for your reading that you are the boss. You are in charge. You're taking control, control maybe in your personal life, in your career, in your relationships, whatever that means to you. Very, very good. Is a very positive energy, divine masculine energy, whether you're male or female. Um, this is about stepping into your power, not being afraid to back down. The true warrior, right? Sorry, I still had a cough drop in my mouth. Um, you know, this is about also delegation, which I feel like um, a lot of you are really empowering yourselves to delegate responsibility at work, even if you're not physically the boss or the manager or CEO or whatever, um, you could just be, you know, whatever level that you're on, but you're, you're someone that people come to and they ask for advice. You're the leader, Aries energy. You're the natural leader here. People are really looking at you and looking up to you. You're a very positive role model for people right now. Woo, love it, Sagittarius. All right, Spirit, what else is going on with my beautiful, lovely Sagittarians? Spirit, what is going on with Sagittarius? What is uh, what is the message they need to hear, see, or know at this time for mid-January? All right, we have the Four of Cups, okay? So, so emotional energy, Hierophant behind that. Some of you in some type of connection, a spiritual connection, romantic situation, probably for a good group of you or a friend. Either way, someone that really you have a lot of emotions for, um, you're, there's a little bit of stagnancy here. There's things emotionally that you or the other person or both of you maybe need to put behind you at this time, okay? And focus on true self-love. I'm hearing self-conditioning, okay? Spirit, what else is going on for Sagittarius? Tell us more about the Four of Cups. Where are they feeling stagnant? Where are they feeling stagnant or bored? Two of Cups. Yeah, it's in some type of loving relationship. I'm not saying that it's bad or anything, but it's kind of that him ho like meh, you know 
Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be also dealing with a Libra. We have double water on the table. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Two of Cups are like two best friends. Also, it could be you and your romantic partner, whatever that means to you. Also, a business partner, someone that you see eye to eye with. Y'all, y'all love and care for each other. You love and care for yourselves. This is a very healthy relationship. But there's something going on here. Four of Cups is saying. You're looking for more. You're looking for more within that connection. More emotions, um, that sort of thing. Oh, wow. All right, we have this uh, strength card, card of Leo coming out, fellow fire energy to you. Seven of cups. So we're finding our strength into actually having options within this connection, okay? Whether it's, again, fr a friend, family, a romantic person, a business partner, whatever your two of cups is to you right now, um, you're you're needing strength in this situation. I feel like this person or this situation is really testing you right now. You're really having to do that inner work of like I'm hearing be being the bigger person. Your real quick in your your pre shuffle and meditation. Your card Sagittarius, the Temperance card, um, was coming out a lot at the bottom of the deck and then flew out at one point which is telling me that you're doing that good spiritual work of if there's a problem, if there's tension, if there's I'm hearing static. If there's something going on like that, you're, you know how to talk it out. You know how to transmute that energy. You know how to put water out in the fire. When things are getting hot and getting a little spicy, you know how to put the water on it. And at the right time too, timing is on your side. You're finding your strength here, Leo energy, to have options. How do I go about this? Seven of cups. What are my options in this situation? I don't want to lose this person. I don't want blah, 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 blah. I don't know what you want with this person or what the you know exact dynamic is because this is a general reading. But right, what you're doing right here is you're, you're enabling yourself and you're, again, emperor, you're empowering yourself to rise above the situation. Okay. Almost like looking up to spirit. Hey, I have faith. I'm going to take a step. You, you follow me. I'm going to take a step and I'm going to trust and have that faith. Very beautiful energy. We also have the tower coming out with the five of cups. There is some type of emotional release happening here. Okay. Tower is about some kind of major significant change where maybe if you have been um, on some type of path, a road and a career, personal life, relationship, friend, family member, whatever that means to you going, 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 something has been a little bit stagnant. Something's been a little bit mm, and spirit is here to shake, rattle and roll where they are here to shake, rattle and roll the situation. And it's always for the good tower can be a little bit of an intense time because it is about change and sometimes change is uncomfortable but look at how you're handling the change with with grace with strength with rising above not letting the petty little things get to you you're seeing the bigger picture okay and you are releasing and letting go if this is about a connection I'm not saying that y'all are breaking up or breaking off or anything like that but there's been something toxic here. There's been something maybe negative, some emotion, some emotional baggage, um, Sagittarius, that probably this other person has put upon you. And you're needing to release that emotional part of it. And look at you holding up your two of cups. You still have a lot of love for this person and they have a lot of love for you. But there is some type of exit here. Um, whatever that means. Yeah, we have the page of cups. You're feeling very open. I want to love again. I want to open my heart again to this person and, and energies can be vice, or vice versa. Uh, maybe they're feeling that towards you. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Sagittarius mid-January. I want to clarify this tower. Yeah, let's, let's dig a little deeper into the tower. Spirit, what is this tower about for Sagittarius for mid-January? What is this um, What is this shift? What is the dynamic here? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the tower for Sagittarius, please? Thank you, Spirit. I'll put it right front and center. Spirit, what is the tower... Queen of Swords. Okay, so clarifying the tower is the Queen of Swords could be dealing with, in particular, an air sign, male or female, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, and look at right there. Underneath is a fresh new start. We have the Fool. Okay, so some of you are needing to really speak up, speak your truth. Okay, or you're dealing with an air sign. Either way, this is about enlightenment. This is about 
speaking up and hey, we need to have a conversation about this. Whatever's been um, not so great with us in the past, again, whoever this person is for you is gonna be different. Whatever's been going on with you two in the past, there's some stuff that needs to be released and let go of and the way you're gonna do it is through the Queen of Swords, through conversation but conversation from the heart. I get a lot of Libra energy from this, okay? Um, and through that, and through that conversation, hey, I've been a little, I, I feel like if you say it in a friendship or a relationship, it's like you put on your happy face, hey, how are you? Mm, I'm good, how are you? How was your day? Mm, good, it was all right. But instead of that, instead of that, you're, you're getting to the point where, hey, you know what? I'm not mad at you, but this is where I haven't been happy. This is where I feel like there's been a little bit of toxic energy. This is where I feel like this connection has been a little bit heavy or a little bit draining, whatever that means to you, because it's like you're needing to re uh, emotionally release. Okay, and bottom of the deck, after the tower, we had the queen of swords come out. Boom, That this tower is putting you on a whole new path, a leap of faith. Tr again, trusting, trusting, trusting in spirit, okay? And then the ten of cups and the magician is right behind that. As soon as you clear the air with this person, and again, Sagittarius, I know it's the tougher work, but you might have to be the one, especially confirming here with the strength card, you might have to be the one that is, you know, again, the bigger person in the situation where it's hard, it's maybe hard for you, but you're the one that's going to be like, hey, you know what? We really need to talk about this. We really need to hash it out, okay? I know you love me and I love you. Again, whatever that love is is going to be different for each and every one of you. But it's like if you want to keep this connection going, we need to clear the air. We need to have that conversation, okay? Very loving energy. Like I said, uh, Queen of Swords is very Libra energy. And I say that because of the feminine um, air energy. Libra is ruled by Venus. This is coming from a place of love, right? And we want that love to keep shining and keep going. Spirit, any other messages for Sagittarius at this time? I'm also just hearing releasing fears around a connection, okay? Whatever that means. There's just some releasing of fears, okay? It's a very good, healthy thing to do. Not always the easiest thing to do. Yeah, yes, Ace of Swords under the Strength card, okay? But look at all that fire. Even though this is air energy, this is truth. This is enlightenment. This is that conversation. Boom, it's like an epiphany is going off, okay? Um, wow, this is really making me, reminding me of a conversation I literally just had earlier today. And someone was talking about their journey and it was hard for them, but they're, they're choosing love first. They're like, you know what? Not everyone may understand, but I'm choosing to love. And that's what you're choosing to do. It may not always be the easiest and someone may have done you wrong or there's been a little bit of mm, uncertainty in a situation, but there's enlightenment here. You're receiving higher, higher messages from spirit. This is that light bulb that clicks. Yes, this is my journey. I'm strong. This, this, this. Um, this challenge, this hurdle, these options, this stagnancy, this releasing is making me stronger. The true warrior, remember the emperor. The emperor doesn't just get to the top of the mountain. He just doesn't appear there. He has to climb that mountain. And every step that you're taking up that mountain right now, Sagittarius, you're releasing things that don't work. You're releasing old habits. The old, how would the old Sagittarius have dealt with it? Well, this is the new me. It's a new year right? Woo! This is good. This is deep. This is really, really good though, Sagittarius. I love this for you. Lots of healing, lots of epiphanies, lots of clarity, conversation, very sweet conversation, honest conversation. Spare anything else for Sagittarius? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, y'all are giving me chills. Okay, the last two cards out. Page of Pentacles, Younger Earth Energy, um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. After, the, after this Ace of Swords, after the light bulb, after the epiphany, ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to regroup. I'm going to regroup. Regroup myself. I need to invest. Invest in what? Nine of Cups. Self-love. Loving myself. Putting myself first. There's no shame in doing things that make you feel good, going out and doing things, activities, connecting with people, 
out of love because you love yourself. Okay, nine of cups is when you are emotionally responsible for yourself. It is not always the easiest thing, but it is the thing that's going to carry you through until the end. It's the thing that's really going to, again, rise above. Notice how this is like um, like a kind of a genie coming out of one of these cups, genie coming out of the bottle, almost a magician energy. It truly takes magician energy. It takes all of your four elements, earth, fire, wind, and water. It takes all of those, those elements and energies to rise above. And you're in such a powerful position right now, Sagittarius. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? Lovers! I feel like this is this union is coming back. It's like we started off at the Two of Cups. We went through something, and now look at us. We've transformed into the Lovers card. Card of Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. We also saw that clarifying the Tower, the Queen of Swords. So maybe a lot of air um, energy. Even if you're not specifically dealing with the air sign, this person is very much in their head, very in the logical mind right now. Not, It's not a bad or good thing either way. I'm just saying that's what it is. Um, but yeah, Lovers card is there really is love here. There really is a connection, whether this is a, uh, um, a contract or a connection with a coworker, with a friend, with a lover, whatever that means means to you so um look at you doing that good work Sagittarius very very good I love you all so much thank you so much for being here we're gonna go into your love reading and see what this is all about so if you'd like to join just click the link below but if this is where we part Sagittarius I love you dearly and I will see y'all soon